Every once in a while, a wild fad comes and consumes the public. Planking, dabbing, the Harlem Shake, and Crocs. In 1730, when powdered wigs were all the rage, London had a fad of its own, the gin craze. Londoners, who had ditched the French brandy on account of it simply being French, opted for the most British booze, gin. They guzzled so much of it, the streets of London were engulfed in sheer debauchery. Everyone and their dog were drunk on gin. The average person consuming over two gallons of it every year. Gin was originally called Geneva, but the Brits were too drunk to pronounce it, so they called it gin. Then the government had to step in and start the war on gin. They taxed the hell out of it, charging 50 pounds for a distiller's license, which is like $10,000 today. And that was a really bad idea. Riots and violence broke out, and dangerous bootleg gin flooded the streets, poisoning poor fellas. A lot of it was basically moonshine that left you either blind or dead. London streets had turned into a Walking Dead episode, so the government started telling people that gin is crazy dangerous, and that beer is healthier anyway. That apparently didn't work either, because the craze lasted for nearly three decades, and the senseless booze fest ended only when the price of grain went up, and gin became hella expensive. If the trend had continued, Great Britain would have become a wasteland of binge-drinking vagrants. So basically Milwaukee. Next time you have your favorite craft gin, don't forget it almost caused the downfall of a great city. Cheerio!